How you doing? Marcus Conti, September 27th, 2017 reporting. Now this, this is the video that I want to make. Okay, This is a, um, I just found it. It's already, it, it appears that it's already, been, it's been up. Uh, someone made this video and it's been sitting up on YouTube for a while and I didn't even see it until today. I'm just surfing around and there it is, a support video in favor of, uh, of, uh, of the work we're doing now it's not just a support video this video is um, because there was no uh, no other names used in this I'll just use his um, his uh, YouTube handles we got uh, Dixon Diaz uh, also known as John Little now this individual um, I've backgrounded it he's very credible and uh, he is in fact a uh, sanitation enforcement agent. Uh, he ha held the same uh, position I did, and he's um, the video itself appears to be shot in a facility that is recognizable to those people uh, that are there. And it's a it's really a, it's a good it's a good confessional um, in the sense that he talks about a few things. He talks about what st what struck me um, the most is his uh, putting his finger on how the uh, management at at, um, at DSNY forces people to sign things against their will. And, uh, I mean, that breaks so many different constitutional laws. That's um, civil rights laws. Just It's just degrading to have someone force you to sign things. And uh, DSNY, in my experience, does this, you know, routinely... He talks about the um, being forced to write 10 tickets, having a supervisor follow, follow him around. Um, he, he also talks about the, uh, that it's not exaggerated, there, that there is a, a grotesque level of discrimination and um, that people take everything so, so personally and that, you know... Uh, he mentions a lot of names too. He talks about a situation. Well, I'm going to let you listen to it, but I want to give you my, you know, perspective on what's going on. He he mentions uh, Teresa, Teresa Neal, who is the uh, director of EEO for the Department of Sanitation. So she's she's an executive director. She's not just the she's not just uh, you know a EEO person down the hall. She's the executive director. She's technically one below. Uh, Commissioner Garcia, she sits in the boardroom and has these discussions with us. So she also, uh, Mr. Mr. Little, let's call him Mr. Little. Mr. Little, actually, um, he mentions Burke, Michael Burke, uh, who he appears also to agree that he's wholly responsible. He talks about a Chief Klingler, Pompeo, Siri. Okay, these are people that I never really met. Again, I never actually met Klingler, though he signed many of the documents. So this is more of what we need. This is um, solidarity, right? This is how change occurs. Enjoy it. And um, it, just one other thing, if you should put one of these videos up, let me know it's there so I could talk about it and link to it. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the, the uh, audio and video. I'd like to go ahead and elaborate with the whole Conti Gate thing that's going on. What that man is saying is 100% true, and y'all really need to listen to him, because it's not exaggerated. It's completely true. That being said, we were forced to write 10 tickets a day, basically. I, myself, and other agents here, we were threatened. If we don't write 10 tickets a day, you're going to be on foot. A sergeant's going to take you out, put you on foot, and follow you in around in a car and make sure you get 10 tickets. Now, they even went a step further to say, if a sergeant sees a ticket and tells you to write it, you have to write it, or else that sergeant will write the ticket and write you up. You cannot force me to put my name on legal documentation if I don't agree with it. This is a common thing. Another thing that this department do, does is if they don't like you, things are taken very personally. There was an agent in Queen Zone 
Sergeant Cecilia Rojas called this agent a faggot and also told this agent, all you fucking Indian people are the same. Now, this agent wrote a statement to EEO as well as a couple. A couple is a little understatement. Four or five other witnesses heard this sergeant say, all you fucking Indian people are the same. These statements went to EEO where Teresa Neal received them. The department then said, because the agent has a, a history of write-ups and a history of, of arguments with this sergeant that they only did a preliminary investigation and felt that the agent should then be transferred to the Bronx. This agent lives in Coney Island and now he goes to the Bronx every day because a supervisor was homophobic and racist. This is what our department does regularly, regularly. So listen to Marcus Conti, because guess what? Those emails that he has, other people have it too. These leaks in the department, they're going to keep coming out. We have people like Michael Burke who come to the zones and say, hi, my name is Michael Burke, and I don't wish to be recorded because of the backlash he's received for what's happened. Michael Burke is the big problem here. That's what this department needs to focus on, Michael Burke. Because when Michael Burke sends out these emails, Chief Klinger is CC'd in them. Former Chief Pompeo was CC'd in them. Former Chief Jerry Sarai was CC'd in them. And now this new chief, I don't know his name, but his call sign is 810, he will probably do the same. Maybe he could get right when he sees all the backlash for what's happened. This shit needs to stop. You got people starting, working for the city, making $28,000 a year, and this is what you do to them. Maybe more since this last bullshit contract. This department is corrupt as all hell. Garcia herself told Liba, sanitation enforcement will never be a part of sanitation in her eyes. We, we got to write 10 tickets a day or we face going out on foot in thunderstorm weather like this. It's despicable. Something needs to be done about it. Thank you, Marcus Conti, for taking it this far.